It is day two of the Big Rock Blue Marlin Fishing Tournament, and one of the boats that went out yesterday only made it back to the docks today. The April May was hit by lightning Monday morning and lost power. Another boat in the tournament, Sea Wolf, stayed with the disabled boat until the Coast Guard could reach them. The tournament says that was delayed by storms overnight. The Coast Guard says another boat started to tow April May, and they were able to meet them about 12 miles east of Cape Lookout Shoals. A 47-foot motor lifeboat from Fort Macon then towed the disabled boat closer to shore until sea tow could take over. Everyone on board, though, is okay. And let's take a look now at the leaderboard so far. The first marlin yesterday weighed in at 396 pounds by Dance and Outlaw, just a few pounds short of placing. C student came in soon after that with an impressive 470 pound, uh, 470.2 pound marlin. They continue to top the leaderboard. The last catch yesterday afternoon by Wolverine was also under the 400 pound threshold to place at 385 pounds. C Toy reeled in the first marlin today, making their way to second place with a 463.7 pounder. And Lady Diane came in with another marlin that failed to qualify at around 315.4 pounds this afternoon. And our sports director Eric Golickson has been in Moorhead City following the tournament the past two days, and he's live now there with the latest. Eric. We've had, we had 69 boats Yeah, it's day two of the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament here in Moorhead City, and it was a slow start to the day, but a fun afternoon here down at Big Rock Landing. A lot of tuna have come in recently. A couple blues, as you mentioned, came in earlier in the day. Let's take a look at how that all went down for the one that is now on the board. It was Sea Toy, then their boat captain, Bill Tolson. He's from the Outer Banks, and the fish weighed in at 463.7 pounds, good for second place when Wade and he is saying that's the second one he's brought in at the Big Rock Tournament in his career and he's been doing it for a long time. It just missed the fabulous Fisherman Prize for the first 500 pound Blue Marlin for boats registered in that division and they were in the category. They got two more days left to fish but a thrilling day for them out there on the Big Blue. Every time you come it's just like you've never been before. You know, it's just, just all the crowds cheering you on, whether it works out right or wrong or up or down, everybody's excited for you. Everybody's showing all the love. It's awesome. Totally awesome. We've all been fishing together for quite a long time. It's just, it's, we always keep hoping it's the right one. So that's why I keep trying. Exhilarating. I mean, it was an absolute blast to see it on the bite off of the, um, off of the shotgun and just came straight in. Long fight, two hours, 20 minutes. Stayed at the, uh, the back of the boat for, um, you know, a number of, number of passes, but um, she was pretty feisty. And they were now in second place going into day three. We will have more on the current leader who's still in lead after Monday, C student and the guy who caught that fish coming up in our Pepsi Sports Spotlight. We'll send it back over to you guys in the studio.